Uh, now we're going to look at uh, probability of a single event. So um, what you want to think of is, uh, I would try and do it as a fraction um, uh, if you're not sure. And both of these we're going to do as a fraction actually because probability has got to be a number. All right, so that's a fraction or a percentage or a decimal. All right, we don't uh, all any of those three is fine, but if you're not sure, I would use fraction because uh, it's what you want. Uh, being the numerator of the fraction, the uh, total outcomes being the denominator, and you'll see what I mean in a second. So if we look at these two problems, it says find the probability of picking a red counter. So we need to count how many red counters there are, and we're going to do this one as a fraction. All right, so how many red counters are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and there's ten counters altogether. So there are seven reds, that's what I want. What I, oops, I want. And this is um, total outcome. So this is total potential uh, picks. All right, outcomes. All right, so seven tenths would be the answer. I would just leave it as a fraction. You could call it 70%, you could call it 0 0.7, but I did absolutely no point really. Uh, seven tenths is perfectly fine. Now, the second one says, what is the probability of rolling an even number on a fair six-sided dice? So the numbers I get on a dice are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Which one of them's even? Well, there's three of those out of a total of six. All right. And I can simplify that. To be honest, I wouldn't bother because unless it asks you to, Right, give it in its simplest form or whatever. Right, it's just another opportunity to make a silly error if you're not careful. So, again, I'm using that as a fraction. You could call it 0 0.5, you could call it 50%, you could call it a half, but 3 6 is perfectly all right. So, if in doubt, use a fraction. If the question uses percentages or the question uses decimals, do use them. Um, but in, in general, we tend to use fractions.